Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading. This is going to be a little peeky peek, see what's coming and going out, going on. I do want to check the temperature, um, see who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. Um, there's a lot of, you know, Fugazi energy coming out in the readings. So I've been reading the comments. I know a lot of you all are wanting me to delve a little deeper, you know, because I usually would have done the they pray and pray but i was really just enjoying all this bliss and love um i do see a beautiful connection that could be forming or you could be cultivating a beautiful connection with someone you plus me is pretty much like the two of cups it could be the lovers um you may have met this person on the internet or the world wide web maybe on a dating site because we have the internet and this is called hold on so it is possible that you may have made a love connection. Um, maybe this is somebody that could have found you online that was looking for you. Maybe somebody from your past, someone you could have grew up with, someone you could have worked with before, or maybe someone you could have lived in the same neighborhood and then y'all lost contact. Um, I am sensing that there is also some crazy deranged person that could be obsessed or stalking you via the internet. So be mindful to watch uh, what you post um, just watch, you know, what information you divulge online. Um, we do see here past life love vibes. Is this the one? So whoever this person is, this is the one that you may have questioned. Like, is that the one? Or maybe they feel you're the one that got away. And that could be why they could be researching or looking for you online, doing some little background checks. Maybe somebody, I'm hearing somebody hired a private investigator because Scorpios do have a tendency of like just you know disappearing on that ass poof they be gone um but it says they're cold-blooded they have evil intentions watch them so i do feel like this is two different energies um one is obviously like a twin flame soulmate connection and the other is somebody that has a lot of disdain jealousy and envy contempt in their heart for you and it could be because you could have cut them off blocked them off um so that's why i feel strongly you all need to mind what you're posting mind what information you're divulging online because somebody could absolutely be stalking your life or trying to figure out where you reside um, there are ways where you can go to certain sites you know how you could look up someone's name and then it'll pull up their address their phone number you could actually go to those sites and request that they not sell your information and they'll pull all your information down um, I do that you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want none of my information posted up. I um, Google my name and nothing comes up uh, because I've been going to each and every site one by one. So some of you all may need to do that because some of y'all could be dealing with a, like a full blown stalker. Like you, you're dealing with a, 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 a somebody that's foo foo. Um, so just be mindful of that. And the internet is playing. So they are stalking your life via the World Wide Web, via the internet, um, whether that's by means of your social media or just by means of a background check. But let's go ahead. Let's do some house cleaning. Um, first and foremost, for anybody that may be new, welcome. My name is Q. Uh, I too am a Scorpio. Uh, I am an empath. I channel messages intuitively. And I also am clairaudient. So I do uh, listen to music and it tends to blend very beautifully with what comes out in the tarot cards um, this is a general reading so my spill is eat the fish spit out the bones if it doesn't apply just let it fly by know that you're more than just your sun sign so check your moon your rising your venus your mercury check your mars check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you um, this reading will also be timeless so whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing that was intended for you all to do so um, please part of my little baby boo she's on the side here like licking all up in things just just can you not do that on camera my love it's my little girl <laughs> she wanted to sit here with me she she tends to always sit with me but she'll be behind me or on the side of me and usually the camera is in the uh focusing in the opposite direction but i wanted to be on screen today so um i do call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit Spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Ogun, and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition, 
and discernment of my cards help me to pick up on the number synchronicities and vibrations of my cards and so it is so mode it be ashe 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 i want to give a beautiful shout out to all you beautiful souls out there that comment that send love i appreciate you all dearly so let's go ahead let's tap in tune in so divine spirit of love and light who's praying on scorpio's downfall and why who's praying and praying on scorpio's downfall and why somebody who's shifty and i'm hearing onyx shifty low down gritty and grimy in my mind's eye but you are divinely protected we got the feather card here and it says protection and love from your guardian angels so you're protected from on some of these janky energies and this is that person see that the same energy, they're cold-blooded. It says they, they have evil intentions. Watch them. So your, your guardian angels, your ancestors are already on the job. I feel like a lot of y'all have been honestly, um, you know, connecting with your guides, your angels, your spirit team. Um, you've been connecting some of y'all with Archangel Mikael. Um, and I feel like you, you feel this very uh, powerful um, protection um, around you. I want to share with you all a personal story. Um, I received a phone call on last Sunday or this Sunday. It, it was Sunday. Um, and it was a call from my mother saying that my brother um, had gotten into a very bad accident to where he was ejected out of the car and onto, um, you know, the, the grass on the side of the highway. Um, for those who were in passing, um, they were able to get my brother to give my mom the num you know give my mom's number so that they could call her to let her know what was going on and when I tell you that my brother left the hospital Monday with not a not a broken bone not an abrasion not a concussion he literally walked out of the hospital unscathed and that was an, a miracle in and of itself and this is the reason why I tell you all to connect with your angels and your guides, especially Archangel Mikael. I shared with you all a personal um, picture because I do feel, like I said, uh, in those moments where I feel inspired to share with you, I feel like it's because the divine wants me to share with you uh, because it's going to help some of you all who may have doubt or those who don't have doubt and just need just a sign, a synchron, you know, it's just, it's just, just very bit well be a confirmation for you. But I shared that candle which showed the angel and the heart, uh, which was located right behind it. So um, that was very, very um, much an indicator that not only uh, was, was my family and I safe, protected, uh, but that Archangel Mikael was, was working his miracle, his, his, his magic. So my brother walked away unscathed, not a broken bone, not anything, uh, completely healthy. Um, after being ejected out of a car, uh, you have to be moving at some speed to be ejected. Um, he got hit, ironically, by an ambulance. Um, and so that's why he was able to be rushed to the hospital. But um, they was literally like in awe as to how you know he was able to uh, come in there and nothing was wrong. Um, so that's a beautiful message. Um, right now we have Tosh Sultana and uh, Jungle is playing so you know with jungle i instantly see trees i see life i see you know it, it's jungle to me is like you know they say that you know the jungle is it's a place where you know all of the wild uh animals you know that's where they reside but i feel like you know you're you're able to navigate um this wild terrain or this rough terrain because you have angels uh, and because you have this warrior spirit. Um, it says you've defied the odds. So some of you all may have a very similar story um, you know, that I just shared with you. You may have a similar story to where you, it was a very miraculous um, outcome for you where you was you know, rushed to the hospital and, and they couldn't find anything or maybe something happened to you and you was able to survive unscathed but with jungle i do feel like you know this is showing that you've really defied the odds and you've really um had learned how to navigate and how to um how to navigate tough terrain tough situations how to turn you know a circumstance 
around, if you will. So right now we have your love is one in a million and it says no one can match it. So this to me speaks to a rarity. It's very rare to find somebody who makes you feel like their love is one in a million, makes you feel like there's no one else out there in the world that can match that vibration, that can match that frequency, um, that could speak the love language that you speak. Uh, someone finds you to be very unique, very beautiful, um, a divine feminine. Um, I also think when I hear the word jungle um, that there has been a lot of chaos, perhaps. Maybe there's been a lot of things that could have been blocking a connection. Uh, maybe there's been a lot of someone's own thoughts. Um, you know, because I'm hearing Pat Benatar's Love is a Battlefield. Uh, so it is possible that, you know, someone's own thoughts and someone's own self-deception uh, could have caused some sort of separation or whatever. But we're going to see what's going on. But somebody sees that your love is one in a million. Uh, they could be very jealous. We got analysis paralysis yet again. And it says stop overthinking. So somebody's like up in their head um, trying to figure out how to approach you. Because when we first touched the deck, we did see that you had um, love and happiness. Uh, and you also had that connection, love, uh, spiritual union. And then you also had, you know, another person. So I do feel like you have a couple of people that could be coming towards you. You may have options. It's 11, 11 on the clock, 11, 29. So you do have a twin flame coming in. And I feel like you're going to have some haters that are literally, look at that. As soon as I said, you're going to have some haters. So it says Azabachi and it says ward off any demonic energies. And Azabachi is another, you know, name for like jet. Jet is a mineral. It, um derives from Africa. It's a very protective um, mineral in which was used in ceremonies to ward off demonic energies, to banish um, certain evil witchcraft. Uh, so we got celibacy here. So a lot of you all have been very celibate um, or have has been confirmation. So a lot of you all have been celibate, um, meaning you have not been engaging in any sexual activities. Um, and you've been doing this for yourself. It's not because you can't get it. It's because you don't want to do it unless it's with somebody that you feel is especially meant for you and is going to honor you and respect you and appreciate you. Um, you want to have a connection on a deeper level, not just a sexual uh, connection. Um, so we have blue heron. And blue heron, the most high is watching over you. So you have the spirit of the most high around you. And I feel that is why there's a lot of jealousy, disdain, um, and negativity coming your way. Because maybe people cannot figure out their, they, they can't figure their way in. They can't figure their way um, around your defenses. Uh, your defenses. Um, but the, it says the most high is watching over you. Some of you all could have been uh, seen blue herons. Those are some big, beautiful birds. I took a picture a couple of weeks ago when I was on a nature walk and um, when I stumbled upon one. Uh, but this is a very profound uh, meaning of protection, prosperity. There's good things coming in for you and that could be why there's a lot of eyes a lot of jealousy a lot of envy uh it says cut your losses you'll be rewarded greatly so i do feel like you've severed the ties you've purged yourself from certain things that were no longer serving you people that you knew were not honorable or just didn't deserve you and now you're coming into a whole new um a whole new chapter in your life and things feel a little lighter um you could kind of like let your hair down and breathe a little bit and i feel like the divine is noticing all the hard work the sacrifices that you've made and just how ambitious you have been um in reaching certain goals that you may have set for yourself and even in establishing like your independence again uh because i feel like a lot of you all are getting out of long-term relationships where you could have been with someone for you know from 10 to 15 to 25 plus years and and so now it's just it's almost like you're growing your legs again. Um, you're standing on your own. You're learning to speak your truth. You're learning to take your power back. And you have discovered self-love. You realize that self-love makes you far more attractive. And that's also a reason why you've been celibate, because you're not just going to just lay with anybody just to waste the time. You know, it's like you want to be in a very... Um, 
in a very loving um, and an emotional connection with someone before you engage or involve yourselves in any sexual activity. Um, we have Raheem Devine, and this is called Marathon. So a lot of you all feel like you've been just kind of like... Um, you know, just constantly going and going and going. Um, but I feel like you've really, as the card said, it, you've defied the odds and you've persevered through some really difficult times. Um, whoever has been like betting against you or trying to send bad juju your way, I feel like they're the ones that are going to be kind of like um, receiving whatever it is they're throwing uh, because you do have this protection around you. And I'm hearing like the ancestors don't play about you. Your angels don't play about you. Many of you all know that many of you all have developed and really um you know spent a lot of time cultivating a relationship with your ancestors and your guides and your spirit team and that's why you feel this this armor of protection um so that's a beautiful thing it is five 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 on the clock and i'm gonna show you so uh change is inevitable um five 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 reduces to 16 I'm sorry, I keep saying 16, 15, and 15 reduces to 6. Um, so that 6 is the um, your first eye. So I do feel like you got to trust your intuition when it comes to uh, the next move, making your next move your best move. It's 16, 16 on the clock right now, so that's 7, 7, so that's your crown chakra. So there's a lot of, like, downloads you could be getting at this time. Um, maybe it's coming to you quickly and you're not catching it all, so maybe you all need to go outside in nature because I feel like when you're out in nature, um, you get a different perspective. You know, you, you, you can have more of an evolved perspective because you're around nature, you're around the animals, um, and you can ground yourself. Um, so maybe you need to take a nature walk uh, in order to figure out a strategy or a way out of a situation if you're still trapped or feel trapped or feel a little foggy mentally. Um, so let's see. Let's Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Somebody's mad at you because you ain't giving up the booty. They, I'm hearing um, she's playing hard to get or he's playing hard to get. <laughs> and it's because you love yourself. You know that your love is rare. You know that what you have to offer is the real deal. And you're not playing with nobody who's out here playing. Like, you're not playing the games. You know, you're willing to cut your losses because you know that something better is out there. You're not going to settle. You're not settling anymore. So why is this... Um, Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why divine spirit of love and light? May I have a message of love and light for my beloved Scorpios? Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? Thank you. Okay, those want to fall out. And we have empath problems. And it says it's too peoply outside. So that could be why some of y'all are just staying indoors because you're literally picking up on everybody's energy right now. It's like you could be at the grocery store and you feel like you're like going crazy. Um, because you're just feeling all this energy. Some of you all, um, because, you know, energy is transferable. Um, that's why it's important to wear like your evil eye bracelets, your anointing oils. That's why it's very important to protect your energy, your talismans, your necklaces, whatever it is you wear. Um, but it's important to do that because right now the veil's so thin. So there's a lot of energy just, just really um, rampant out here. So you got to do your due diligence to, to, to protect yourselves and to... Um, just to um, guard yourself from that energy. Um, we have standing firmly on your square, uh, grounded and balanced. So someone's mad because you're not budging. It's like, you know, maybe people are trying to push your buttons. Maybe people are trying to get a rise out of you and you're just not paying them any attention because you know where your attention goes, energy flows. And that's what you would call an energy vampire. My voice is getting blocked. You hear that? <coughs> <coughs> so they trying to block, block you. And so somebody's really pissed off because you found your voice. <clears throat> Maybe they was used to you being, you know, kind of hushed. Maybe they was used to you not speaking up, not talking back or not speaking out. And now you found your voice. You found your platform. Um, and that is like putting a, 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 a mirror up to these individuals and they don't like it. They also can't stand the fact that you're like you're grounded, you're balanced, um, you're healthier now. Um, and it's because you've been holding out. You've been making sure not to engage in any type of sexual activity because you know that that is like, that's your life force. You know, your body is your temple. And um, whoever you allow in uh, can control and manipulate and dominate, uh, dominate you. 
And that's why they always say never invite the devil or the vampire into your home because they can control ish. Same thing applies to your temple, even for the fellas, even though your phallus is on the ex, you know, it's um, external. Uh, but once you enter into, um, you know, that succubus energy, which is that female, then you literally will um, pick up all of that, that um, low vibration, all the toxicity that they have um you know within them um it says go back to the drawing board re-strategize so this is exactly what i was picking up like there's somebody who's kind of trying to figure out um how to navigate a situation um you know with jungle i was picking up there was like you know maybe it was it, it's tough terrain and so also this could be speaking to whoever's trying to take you down or whoever's trying to snuff you out could be literally going back to the drawing board trying to master up another plan um so as to you know thwart yours um you're picking up on it because you are an empath um, and you're not allowing anybody to have access to you at this time because you are highly sensitive. So I do feel, you know, intuitively uh, you're picking up on um, people's intentions. We have you are good enough here on the bottom of the deck and we have um, rising to the top. So you are rising to the top. And that's why uh, this person or whoever these demonic energies are, are going back to the drawing board because whatever they was trying to do to thwart your plans or block you or delay you, it's like it's failing. And it's because you're a chosen one. It's 21, 21, that's three, three, that's six. So you're in harmony. You know, you're in balance. Um, you have, and it's six o'clock. Uh, so you're definitely trusting your intuition when it comes to people, uh, when it comes to certain situations. You're not allowing yourself to be duped, to be played, to be gaffled. Um, I feel strongly that there's a sense that you are also fully aware of who this may be. Um, you could be very guarded at this time, protecting your energy uh, because you know that somebody's intentions for you are not um, golden. You know, and so you could very well be blocking this energy out so as not to allow someone in with um, this this card. Uh, go back to the drawing board, re strategize. This is also like, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe business deals. Maybe you're going to have to um, you're going to have to look at um, perhaps your your uh, career endeavors goals maybe something's changing within that environment and you know you're going to have to partner up with some new folks maybe you're trying to apply for some new opportunities um, with you are good enough I feel like this is a mantra that has allowed you to continue to push forward um, and we have communication is key so I do feel you have learned how to use your voice. Um, there's also an opportunity to clear the air or to communicate with somebody um, <clears throat> in pertinence to some sort of discourse or argument perhaps that happened in the past. Let me see. Communication is key. So speak your truth is what I'm gathering from that speak your truth and don't hold out don't hold back for anybody and we have um saigon favorite things so we have um believe in the impossible and then um this is blue moon so it says your love is uh one in a million so this is what's hidden. You know, this could be what's hidden. Um, there's deep emotion and attraction, but somebody could be hiding this. This is like secret admirer vibes to me, in a sense. Um, this is somebody who's uh, very quiet, you know, kind of I'm hearing the word suppressing. So maybe somebody's suppressing or maybe somebody is soul searching and discovering that they have this love, um, that your love is very rare, unique, uh, that they desire your love. Um, we have show the world the real you. And so with celibacy, we're about to clarify that the real you is strength. You know, it requires strength for you to hold out on intimacy um, and to not just give it to anybody just because you feel that sensation, that desire. Um, this is really about self-love. Self-love makes you more attractive when you don't allow anybody to just slide up in or, you know, if you ain't just sliding up in anybody, that literally shows a sense of self-love, self-worth um, and strength, more importantly importantly so you know when you show the real world you that shows you have you know a sense of pride and value 
self-respect and dignity. Um, so why is uh, celibacy here? Somebody's pissed off that you have this sense of confidence now. And it says, don't let your past hold you back. So this could be an ex. This could be that crazy, deranged person that just can't let you go. They're pissed off that they can't get in the pants no more because they were so used to being able to confuse you by sex. You know how they say you, you have makeup sex and all that is is confusion sex because, you know, you don't com you don't work through any of the confusion. You just sit down, lay down and have sex with somebody and then the problems are still there. And then you're still stuck on stupid because whatever was the initial issue wasn't resolved to begin with because all you did was engage in sex and then you're left even more depleted because they just sucked you dry you know what i'm saying that's that incubus energy so this is somebody that just you know is really mad because you know you're you're holding your ground you have self-love that green is telling me that there's you know you have a sense of love for yourself and you're not just laying with anybody um, we got Faith Evans and it's called I Love You. So this person may even go through the extreme of saying, look, I love you. Um, but love and sex is two different things. And love is an emotion and it's also an action. You will feel the love. You'll see the love by someone showing you that they love you. Um, expect powerful change. So there are some changes coming. We're about to clarify Blue Heron. So the divine is about to bliss you. And this is like something out of the blue. This is unexpected. I feel like I'm hearing windfalls. I'm hearing fortune, fame. Um, and this is really saying that you also um, are picking up on this. Like you may be getting little nudges, little, little hints that something's coming. You could be getting butterflies in your stomach. Your eyes could be twitching. Your ears could be ringing. You could be certain ant seeing certain animal totems, certain number synchronicities. I've been seeing 777 a lot. I've been seeing 888 a lot. Um, I've been seeing blue herons crazy. I've seen them about four or five times back to back to back. Um, I just had a hawk flying very low and in front of me as I was out on my stationary bike this a.m. So a lot of you all could just be having some really powerful uh, synchronicities um, and occurrence, you know, events taking place with animal totems. And that's just letting you know um, potentially that love's coming in, that somebody's going to com communicate. Because remember, we had communication is key. Um, and they're saying change. So somebody that has not been communicating perhaps how they felt, uh, this person that's kind of like, hiding you know this the secret keeping the secret could very well be coming towards you uh and somebody's gonna be really really salty because this ex you don't cut them off and they're, and they're pissed off 27 27 so you know you literally gave somebody chance after chance um but there was no reciprocity it was only games and now there's a powerful change that's taking place and i feel the changes that you're going to find somebody on your frequency on your vibration somebody that's going to um who's going to speak your love language, uh, that's going to give you exactly what you've been praying for and asking for. And somebody's going to be ticked off about it because it says, don't let your past hold you back. So whenever the past can, you know, it's almost like they can sense when someone new is sliding in, um, and they try to sabotage, they try to block, um, but the divine, remember, they said, cut your losses and you will be rewarded greatly. So that's what you have to stay focused on. And this is what the divine is telling you. The most high is watching over you. But the divine is also saying, trust your intuition because you possess psychic powers. you got psychic powers here also. So you're very intuitive. You're like a high priestess, a high priestess, sorcerer, an oracle, a magi. You, you're a sage. Like, you know this. I'm not telling you nothing you don't know. So why is blue hair? Wow. I'm not going to take those because I didn't even shuffle. Bang, bang, boogie the cards. So why is blue hair in here for person for who's hating and praying on Scorpio's downfall? All right. A couple messages came out and I'm going to take every last one of them. But I'm going to focus on the ones that's in the upright first. So we got blue heron and we have look at the bigger picture. So that's what the divine wants you to do. They want you to, like I said, don't, you know, what you pay attention to is what grows. You know, that's what you, whatever your attention goes, that's where energy flows. So the divine is saying, look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is you is whatever your gifts are, whatever it is, loving yourself, taking care of yourself, growing your business, taking care of your family, expansion, building. This is what you need to be focused on. Um, and I feel with this, this, um, this, um, this looks almost like a scale or it could be some sort of a uh, bow or uh, arch 
archery. I don't know. But it's just like that's what you need to focus on because that's what you will manifest because you have the ability to focus your intentions and manifest your desired outcome uh, because you are that alchemist, because you are powerful. It says you and your loved ones are safe. See that? So this is the blessing from the divine. The divine told you to cut your losses and you'll be rewarded. And you'll be rewarded when you cut off those, those frenemies, those enemies, those people who was plotting and scheming and privately trying to plan your downfall. People who have, you know, um, hidden agendas and motives. Um, and we have here, um, this is called uh, Black Yahuru and this is called solidarity. So in order for you to cut, you know, in order for you to have that solidarity, um, you have to cut those those um, fugazis out of your circle. You cannot be in a circle or cipher with people that you cannot trust because that's going to break that circle of trust. So you have to be very mindful um, to know who you have in your cipher. And if you can sense that people don't have your best interests at heart, then it will behoove you to cut them off uh, because it says cut your losses. So these people already aren't building with you. They're not reciprocating. They're not giving anything. We saw 2727 27, and that's literally 99, nine, which is nine again. So you, 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 you've been that wounded warrior. You've been that person that has been beaten, battered, torn, taken for granted. And now it's just like you could change that circumstance by just changing the way that you are, um, the way that you're perceiving it and not seeing yourself. Uh, remember, you had warrior spirit come out also uh, with my deck. So you do have that warrior spirit. You are very um, resilient. You have persevered through a lot. And I feel like that was the tough terrain uh, with Jungle, which was playing by Tal Sultana. So that was the tough terrain that you've had to um, navigate in order to get to this place where you are now um, very strong and very uh, and, and grounded and balanced. Um, so you had to get shaken a little so it says emotions are running high so yeah when emotions are running high you're still in control this is you know this is unbothered energy right here when you're grounded and balanced nobody can affect your mood you won't be affected you won't be you know sidetracked distracted uh so even if there's super um you know, negative comments coming your way, especially with communication is key. Maybe you're going to receive some communication, um, but you have to maintain your um, self-control. And with solidarity, that means, you know, strength, structure, stability. Um, that means, you know, standing your ground and not backing down, um, especially when you are standing on the principle of, you know, self-respect and self-love. Um, you don't have to uh, argue with fools because people on the outside will never know who's who. So stand your ground and, and ig the ignorance is what I'm hearing. And so a fiery climax approaches. So it says go back to the drawing board and re-strategize. So there's going to be some sort of um, climax to a situation. And the divine is saying that, you know, you may need to re-strategize. You may need to, um, you know, reanalyze, you know, analyze the situation again. Um, to get a better outcome. Maybe you've already done that and that's why there's this fiery climax that's approaching you. Um, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have you're very close to achieving your goal. So maybe after you've re-strategized, um, you've, re you know, you figured something out. You see your way clear because this is the jungle. This could be like a jungle, you know, a forest, if you will. And you're looking up at the moon. The moon is very, um, that, you know, deals with uh, intuition and emotion. So maybe this is impertinent to um, an emotional connection you may have with someone. Or maybe this is just letting you know, like, look, you need to re-strategize in terms of um, dealing with somebody. Um, they are not on your frequency or your vibration. They do not have your best interests at heart. So it will behoove you to leave that person um right where they are in the past. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to get a couple additional additional messages and then we're going to wrap it up because I got to get back on the clock. So we got caring connections. So you have a beautiful connection. So I do feel like there is a couple of people coming towards you. Um, and I feel like you're going to know instantly um, who's who because one person is coming that's coming with good intentions. We got this uh, 14, that's five. So remember, communication is key. Somebody very well may come out of hiding and reveal, I'm your secret admirer. I find you to be beautiful, attractive. Your love is one in a million. And then you have this person that wants to bring you drama, chaos, um, you know, and, and negativity because they're jelly. And they're jelly because you're moving on. You got your back 
turn to this person and you're moving on, skipping through the damn park with a new love. And uh, somebody is really pissed off about that. Um, we got seven streeter and this is called it won't stop. So this person may not want to stop. This is like somebody who is like crazy deranged this is somebody that's obsessed this is that person that's stalking your life online maybe they see that you've changed your status you know you went from being single to being in you know from being single to dating to now in a relationship and now you know this is like causing somebody a lot of angst a lot of frustration um and it's because it's not them when they had you they treated you like dog shit and now that they don't have you they they pissed off that somebody else is treating you like the queen or the king that you've always been they just failed to see it and that's why the divine was giving you the instruction to cut your losses and you'll be you'll be rewarded greatly um so and that's exactly what you did you trust your trusted your intuition you went back to the drawing board you re-strategize the plan. You know, maybe some of you all were hoping for, you know, things to be uh, reconciled. And it just never was because that person was not your person. And that's okay. You know, time to move on move and be strong, you know. So financial, look at this. We got financial constraints. And it says your love is one in a million. And then it says believe in the impossible. So somebody could be struggling out here. Somebody has been struggling. Maybe they got a lack mindset. But they're working towards correcting this. Maybe this is why this person dreams because they're trying to get their finances together. Somebody's trying to, you know, um, maybe somebody wants to be with you because they see that you have stability and without you, they struggle. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're living the, this high life. You're, you're living the good life and they sitting here struggling, rubbing two pennies together. And they're pissed off because, like I said, a lack mentality. They could have um, a codependency towards you. We see adjacent possibilities and it says and it won't stop. So maybe somebody the bills won't stop coming in. You know, their expenses are just growing. You know, they didn't realize just how much you did for them until you weren't there to do it. And um, with adjacent possibilities on the flip side of that, you got options. You know, you could go over here, over there. You got you may have multiple streams of income, passive income that you have. Um, we got uh, don't let your past hold you back. And then we have celibacy, no self pleasure, maintaining self control. And so this person here um, also could be, you know, treating you like an option. I see all these doors. So these are all the different doors to women's homes or men's homes that they was walking through um, to give them the goods, you know, whereas you was holding out and you was like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> you weren't even aroused anymore. They weren't even doing it for you. Um, you weren't getting, you just weren't aroused. So they was going and sneaking to other people's homes and, and, and giving them the goods. And, um, and you knew that intuitively, instinctually, you knew, you know, instinctively, you knew not to um, lay down with somebody because it would have been the death of you. Uh, 37, 37 on the clock, that's 10, 10. So that absolutely means done, done, Finn, I'm over it. I'm over you. I'm not interested because I know you got all this other extracurricular activities going on on the sideline and nobody's stupid but you because you think I'm stupid. All right. So why is. <laughs> all right. So we got. um. Look at this attachment. This person doesn't want to let you go. This is the person from the past. It says, let your past go, but your past won't let you go. And it's because this person is pissed off. They feel like because you're not giving it to them, you must be giving it to somebody else. This is somebody codependent on you. Like I said, this person is literally in a dark place, in a dark space. They was trying to keep you stuck and stagnant until you took the mask off your face and started to see things clearly for what they truly were, for what this connection truly was, which was one of... Um, like I said, um, of control, um, you was in an illusion, you know, this was not a real connection. And this person is ticked off because you found your power. You've cut yourself free. So you may have broken some sort of yoke, some sort of generational curse, hex. Um, you've removed the mask, you know, because you was even lying to yourself for a long time until you stopped. But this is the conflict, the confusion. This is all the different people that you may have found out was in the relationship. Um, all these, you know, this person kind of gaslighting, mind fucking, playing games, duping you, um, arguing, saying things that was unkind, untrue, um, giving you lip service, uh, but really pissed off because you're not giving them any. Um, they, they, but you was, look at this beautiful energy and we're about to clarify. So the community, this is, this is your support system. These are the people you had looking out for you, your angels, your ancestors, all those beautiful 
orbs of light represent your ancestors, your angels, your spirit team that was there. That was your, your community, your help. And as we can see here, we're about to clarify this card. And it says the most high is watching over you. And that's exactly what your spirit team was doing. And they was giving you those downloads because you can see here, this is the number seven. So they wanted you to look at the bigger picture and not this, this person that was trying to distract you. I kept getting the sense that this person wanted to distract you off your path. And I was saying ig the ignorance. And that's exactly what the divine was telling you to look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is loving yourself doing better by you, healing from whatever this person may have done, and continuing to build in your wealth of knowledge, um, build your spiritual strength, discover your worth, your purpose, um, what your soul's mission was. And that's what you did. So you received divine interventions, downloads. Maybe when you went out to take nature walks, you could have been bumping into, like I said, those animal totems. We did see feather in the beginning when I picked up my deck. And so some of you all could have been stumbling across feathers. Um, so why is, um, look at the bigger picture, blue heron here, for who's praying on our beloved Scorpios and why. We have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. So you got a man holding a coin. So that's what they want you to look at the bigger picture because there's blessings. There's somebody that sees your worth and value. There's somebody that wants to invest long term, longevity, somebody that wants to commit. This is somebody that has um, they don't have commitment phobia. So they're really invested in family. Um, we have um, Bilal. And this is called soul sister. So this person feels like you're their soul mate, their soul sister, their soul brother, their twin flame. And this is why the divine was telling you to focus on the bigger picture. The bigger picture was always healing thyself. Because when you heal thyself, you love thyself. When you love thyself, you begin to know thyself. And when you know thyself, you know your worth. And so now that you're focusing on the bigger picture, you know that your, your, your standards ought to be higher. And I feel like that's the bigger picture. The bigger picture is knowing your worth, knowing your value. Someone sees your value and this person wants to come in and they want to invest. This is somebody that wants to compromise, that wants to build. They will be your rock, your support system. They will be there to provide, to protect you. And this is a beautiful energy because your angels are blessing you with this person. And look at that strength. You've, you've exhibited strength. You've shown perseverance, resilience. You know, you've navigated tough terrain. Remember the jungle. So you was that warrior spirit. And this is the strength. This is exactly what you exuded. It says you and your loved ones are safe. So you could stand very firm and proud in that. You trust in, you know, the, the, this cloak that you have, this protection, this impenetrable wall of protection around you, fiery wall of protection. Cut your losses, you'll be rewarded. So you've been rewarded because you've exhibited strength. You've shown leadership skills. You've taken your power back. You're putting you and yourself and your needs first now. You're no longer allowing somebody to dupe you, play you, mind F you. You're not going with that game anymore. And that's what people are praying and, and on your downfall for because you've taken your power back you know so why is um you and your loved ones are safe cut your losses you'll be rewarded greatly may have a message of love and light why is you and your loved ones are safe or who's praying on scorpio's downfall all right so we got a couple of messages and i'm going to take them all that's what spirit said so we have appreciation so somebody that didn't appreciate you that's why you had to cut your losses because you know, if you don't appreciate me, then, you know, pardon my back. <laughs> you turned, you know, you, you realized you was, you was a whole dime piece. And if they couldn't see it, that's their loss, your gain, period. Cut your losses. You will be rewarded greatly. That looks like a reward to me. You get the door to value opening up for you because that person was blocking your blessings. When you have somebody that is secretly trying to sabotage things, that has hidden agendas and motives and you, you you're going to be protected once you get rid of that janky energy look at this we got archangel Mikael. he helped you to heal heal that heart chakra he's helped you to heal from pains hurts traumas from this lifetime former lifetimes he's helped you in this process with this 11 i feel like you also are being sent a new love a twin flame this is the 11. So you have a twin flame coming in. Remember, we just had Bilal singing soul sister. So you have a soulmate, a divine counterpart. This is a kindred spirit that's coming in. And we have Jay-Z. I just want to love you. 
give it to me. So this person is going to come in and they're going to give it to you. Remember, we had that king of pentacles here. So they're going to be very giving of themselves. They're going to court you. They're going to wine you, dine you. They're going to take care of you. If you're a feminine energy and you're a masculine, um, this feminine energy is going to cook for you. She's going to, to nurture you, care for you. She's going to look, you know, make sure you know that you're the king of the castle. You're going to feel very special in her care. Strategize. Somebody's trying to plan their way to come towards you, to come in. This is why we had go back to the drawing board because somebody's trying to strategize their means and methods. Maybe they know they got to come at you with a completely different technique. I feel like you've also been strategizing and planning uh, before you're taking action. You're not just jumping into things anymore. And this is because you're listening to the, the guidance. You're spiritually guided and divinely protected. So they're instructing you. With this three, this is like you planning and preparing. This is like ready, set, go energy. You're planning, preparing, and then you're taking action. And with that angel, you know, this feather, remember the feather showed up. So your moves are protected. You know, wherever you're headed is like it's you're being divinely um, protected. And look at this, door to personal healing and happiness and healer of the ages. You got to heal yourself in order to become a healer. So this is exactly what you've learned. You're an initiant also because this is 51. And remember, we saw the uh, 555 five, five earlier, and that reduces to 15, which is 6. So you have uh, you have in emotional equilibrium. You've learned to transmute pain, turn it into power. You have been the conduit of change because you are Scorpio. So you've transformed. You've survived deaths. You've survived all of those upheavals, sudden changes, disappointment, betrayals, uh, deception, lies, cheating. You've, you've survived all of that. You've persevered through all of that. And now you've become a healer. Now you've learned how to heal thyself, as I said. And now the door to personal healing and happiness is here for you. This is beautiful, beautiful messages, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, victory. This is Baba Ogun bringing you the victory, the breakthroughs, the success. Things are balancing out. You're having a victory after an ending. You've completed a karmic cycle. This is completion, done, done, fin. And now you're coming in, like I said, to a whole new chapter. You're entering into a whole new world here. So this is beautiful. And that's what the hate is all about. Because they see your ascension. They see your growth. Why is um, emotions are running high, standing firmly on your square, grounded, balance, and align here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Thank you, spirit. Door to personal, um, door to spirit. So see that? This is what your spirit guides are telling you. They're telling you not to budge. They're telling you not to fall for the okie doke, to not get distracted, to stay in that meditative state, to not break concentration. You, you, you're being spiritually guided to stand firmly in your square, perpendicular in your square. This 32 is five. So maybe some of you all are literally like tapping into your creativity, your artistry. Maybe that's how you're, you're staying in the zone, you know, because there is a zone, there is a flow. Um, you know, I don't know if some of you all saw that movie where, um, dang, what was the name of that? I can't think of it right now, but it's like you're in your flow right now. And this is what's keeping you from getting sidetracked and distracted. And we have um, a taste of honey, and this is called Boogie Yogi. So, yeah, things are getting sweet for you. And the honey is also, um, you know, very indicative of money, you know, 47, 47, and love. So something's coming in, something beautiful, something sweet. You know, the door to spirit, emotions are running high. Somebody that's going to really love you, somebody that's really sweet on you is what I'm also getting, is coming towards you, the pet temple path. This could be like a marriage, um, you know, where you could have some sort of marriage ceremony or some sort of um, commitment ceremony uh, with 12. That's like manifestation, a number of manifestations. Somebody from your past could be returning, reuniting. And I feel like with Boogie Yogi Yogi, you're going to be partying. I'm thinking of like the reception, everybody dancing, doing a little two step, enjoying themselves. But this door to spirit is opening up. So it's like you literally are uh, highly intuitive. And I feel like somebody very, um, someone very important, someone very special, someone that has been um, chosen for you is entering into your life. You know, and I feel like you're, you're like I said, you know, your worth now. You're not budging for anything less than what you know you deserve. This is powerful. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Why is a fiery climax and go back to the drawing board? We strategize here for our beloved Scorpios. May I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. 
And so we have storm warning and rest and rejuvenate. See that? So this person, this, they, they won't let up. They, they, they're so persistent. But this is what you're doing. This is your response to this energy. Because you're trusting in spirit. Spirit is telling you to stand firmly. Spirit is telling you somebody's going to try to have your emotions running high. And so you're literally not breaking concentration. As I said, you're in meditation. You're receiving downloads from the divine straight from source. This is 19. So this is the 10. This is like you, you're focused on a new beginning. This is somebody coming in, arguing, arg you know, trying to cause confusion, chaos. This is 10 and 10. So this is what you have completed. Like whoever you've ended some sort of karmic cycle with, they're coming in like a, 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 a bull out of a china closet. And look at you just like in your Zen mode. Nam -yo -ho -renge -kyo. And this is why they pissed off. Because you just, you're just unbothered. You're like unbothered and you're not falling for the okie doke. Um, and it says go back to the, so this could be like you, literally, this is why they're going back to the drawing board to, to try to figure out how to break you out of this concentration, out of this meditation, uh, because you are getting downloads, you're being, your spirit is being rejuvenated, it's like you're being prepared, you're like, you've been chosen, like I said earlier, you're like an initiate, so it's like when you come out of this, you're going to be like spiritually strong. And then this is what's going to bring the climax. The climax is that you're done, done, fin, because 10 is an ending. So the end of this old version of you, this person doesn't know. You're be, like all that old version of you is being burned away, is being purged, being released. And when you come out of this meditation state, you're going to have such a, um, an evolved perspective on life and your approach is going to be different and you're going to be prepared. Look at this man holding a heart now somebody's coming in wanting to give you their love they're ready for you they're ready for you this is beautiful you got yin yang twin flame i can't make this up look at archangel mikael here he's protecting this connection this is a spiritual connection and that's why i was picking up that your angels are very aware of who's throwing things at you and this person that's like okay let me go back to the drawing board to figure out how to bring the drama to figure out how to bring the chaos the mayhem you know, all of this mind uckery, you know, and, and Archangel Mikael is like, you might want a second, you know, you might want to think about that. Because this union is, is, is a divine connection. You got the yin yang and a man holding a heart. So this is somebody that's really, really going to protect your heart. Somebody who really is uh, emotionally intelligent. Um, they are not, they don't look at vulnerability as a weakness. They see it completely as a strength. And they see you as the yang to their yin, yin to their yang, divine feminine and masculine. So this person is coming toward you. And this is a very protected union, sacred. You know, we already heard soul sister playing by Bilal. And underneath that, see that devil? I can't make this up. Look at this. Archangel Mikael is on the case. Like, you, you might want to think twice. See how this person is sitting here stalking? I told you there was two different energies. And Archangel Mikael is right here. So they, this person is going to have to get past this beautiful, powerful Archangel. And they ain't. They're like, the chances of that Archangel stands on the heads of the demons. So don't get it twisted. <laughs> so this is what this person has to look forward to. Dealing with Archangel Mikael. We already saw Blue Heron. And they said the Most High is watching over you. So what do you think your angels are doing here? This is a sacred union that this person is hating on. But it sucks to be them because this is, this is being divinely ordained. It is written, beloved. 2222. That's like 1111. So this is absolutely your divine masculine, your twin flame, soulmate. This is a sacred union. And I feel like that's why you got a lot of people hating because you're coming into a beautiful connection with somebody. And this ex person just is, they're going to be kicking themselves in the ass because they let a good thing go because of their toxic, toxic ways, because of their hatred, because of their disdain. They, st they stood in their own way. But shoulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda. This is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the messages resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. It's love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace, love, and light.